Planet Zoo's third birthday, we have been given the red deer. It looks really cool and it's really exciting. So um, I'm looking forward to be putting that in one of our zoos. Maybe we can put that in our Christmas time zoo. Um, we've also been given some happy birthday balloons and some animal balloons as well. So the guests can um, have a birthday party with us, <laughs> um, along with some other updates along with the game as well. But first of all, I wanted to show you our little babies that we've had in the zoo. So this is our baby raccoon. It's really cute and really fluffy. I apologise if you can hear any fireworks, by the way. Um, it is the 5th of November in the UK, which is a big celebratory day. Um, so everybody lets off fireworks. So I apologise if you can hear any. Um, but we are now looking at our baby fox as well. And it's just the cutest, fluffiest thing in the world. We've got this one lying down sleeping and it's cuddling its tail. And he's like wrapped up all nice and warm, which is really sweet. And we've got our little common wombat and it's so tiny and so fluffy and it's just running around everywhere and it's the sweetest little thing. So our zoo's coming along really nicely so far. I've um, kind of mapped out where our bat house is going to be, which is the right at the back, surrounded by the water. But overall it's doing really well, I think, and um, I'm really excited about this one. So we're going to be putting in the skunk today. So these two little ones, um, a male and a female, because they can only have one of each in the habitat. Um, so we're going to be building for them today. So I really wanted to incorporate the windmill that we put in in the last episode, I think it was, for them to have as that as their shelter. So um, that's, this is what I'm currently trying to do. Um, it, does, it turns out it's not quite enough, so I end up having to put in like another little kind of shelter, but it's kind of, this theme is gonna be kind of like an abandoned windmill kind of habitat. Um, the raccoon one, a abandoned mine, which uh, you all loved. I thought we'll do another theme for this one and we're gonna do an abandonment, abandoned windmill. So I'm just putting in the enrichment items for them. They don't really like a lot of enrichment items or there isn't that much of them, I should say. Um, so I'm just kind of scattering them around the habitat and then I'm going to go in with some trees and some other kind of decorations. I thought maybe the skunks could maybe sleep inside like little boxes or little um, kind of baskets and stuff. So I put some of them in. Obviously, they're not going to use it, but we can let our imagination run wild. So here I am building like a little mini secondary hard shelter for them. Um, this is just, I think, an African shop um, or, or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. It's something from the African pack anyway. Just putting around some foliage, some broken branches or some trees and stuff. So how are you all anyway? I hope you're all good. Um, I'm not doing too badly. I'm um, Work's a little bit crazy at the moment. Um, just your general normal kind of stuff. You, you know when it like it starts off perfectly fine work wise and then all of a sudden you have like a really busy two weeks or a busy few months and you're like oh my goodness like what's actually happening? Um, so I'm just riding that out at the moment. Um, I'm hoping it's going to get a little bit quieter towards Christmas, but fingers crossed. I just can't believe we're in November already. Like, it's just insane. So wherever you are around the world, is it getting colder or is it getting warmer? Um, currently in the UK, it's getting a lot colder. Are you off anywhere on Christmas holidays? Um, are you do you are you celebrating Christmas? Um, let me know in the comments down below. It would be uh, great to kind of hear from you all and what's your plans and what you're going to be doing.
So here I'm just putting around kind of plant pots and things like that. Um, just little things maybe the skunks could play in or little food bits could be put in for them like enrichment items or something by the zookeepers or anything that they could maybe play in or something and I thought seeing as this is abandoned windmill I thought oh maybe we could use something um with their water wheel maybe that could look like it had come off or it's there was another windmill next door to it at some point um so we're just trying to find somewhere to fit that in but it's, I think it does turn out really well I'm putting in and around the habitat some sacks and some kind of food bags because I know there were there was a few on the windmill and in the inside the windmill so I thought why not bring that theme out into the habitat we can fill it up with kind of leaves or any type of food or something that we can maybe try and pretend that it is. So I thought if this is supposed to be like an abandoned windmill kind of habitat I might try and see if I can incorporate some form of the windmill into the habitat so what I'm trying to do here is just select as many pieces as I can and then take the this part of the windmill and lie it on the floor just so it looks like it's fallen off and the keepers haven't hasn't picked it up they've just kind of built the habitat around it I've put some um grass around the place so it looks like um everything's a little bit overgrown and especially when objects are on top of the grass the keepers or the gardeners wouldn't be able to necessarily cut in and around it so the grass is going to be longer there than it is anywhere else we're just putting in the lights now um i've just kind of pl placed them where i want them and then i go around and change all the colors and then sink them into the ground i'm um, still sticking with the theme of purples and oranges and greens and I think it gives a really nice effect. I'm just doing some general kind of decorating now, um, sorting out the tables and the chairs. Um, it does get a little bit squashed in this area, so I'm not entirely sure whether the guests will be able to use it fully, but it looks nice, so we're just going to keep it. Um, I'm just picking bits and bobs around the park as it is, or around the zoo, um, and trying to recycle those parts so there's a continuous theme going on around the zoo. Okay, so I'm trying to do something with shops and I just, at this point, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just building and I think it turns out all right anyway. Um, I end up going for like kind of like a castle feel. Now, I want, really wanted to do something with round buildings. Everything at the moment is very square and so I'm putting these two like 
square shapes at the back and this is going to be the chimneys. So I didn't really know what I was going for, what kind of look I wanted. I didn't have anything for a kind of reference. I was just kind of winging it as best as I can. Um, I wanted, definitely wanted something around the top to, of the chimney. So this is where the this piece of wood kind kind of comes in, um, and it does it does look alright actually after a while. Once it all kind of comes together, and it looks quite nice. So here we are just hiding the fact that the roof looks a little bit messy but it's not too bad just work with what you've got that's what i always say <laughs> um so we're just putting around the edging on the roof um just to tie in the little chimney pots to the bottom half of the roof i suppose and um i'm just trying to figure out what i want to do with this half of the roof so i do end up putting a little bit of the stone slabs on it just to lift the roof up a little bit and it does look a lot better than it did anyway. So here I'm just trying to figure out what else decorations wise we can put on this shop. So I end up going with like pumpkins that have kind of been speared um, onto the side of the building and I think it looks quite good. And then I just kind of go around with lots of plants and things and trying to decorate it as much as possible. Um, the cinematics are going to start any moment so I really do hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching and your continued support. And please do give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We are so close to 1,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Bye.